Hey there, everybody. So, a little uh, bike build I did the other day, or, you know, it's kind of a little frame swap, actually, but it's a Surly Ogre. It's a, essentially a 29-inch mountain bike that's kind of a utility bike used for several different things. But this is the, uh, rather than take a frame and build it up from random parts, we had this... Uh, used bike that we just basically took all the parts off of and swapped them over. But this is just some little bits that came with the uh, Surly and then really the only uh, extra piece there that, you know, some little dropout adjuster stops there. It's a headset and, you know, it basically comes as a frame and fork system, but we were able to use basically everything off of this uh, bike that's a uh, basically just a bike that we had that was a trade-in used bike and everything matched up really well so we just swapped it right over to the uh, Surly frame set there and so basically just a matter of stripping everything down uh, the cables on the Surly were all basically the frame was designed for a full length run of housing so that's how this Scott mountain bike was so pretty straightforward and simple swap over process. A lot of the things I didn't even unhook. I just left them dangling off the shift and brake cables there and uh, you know, just swapped it directly over. So, um, you know, this is, uh, you may notice this little different work area. So this is my new little shop area. And there's a little, uh, playing with this little tool here to remove the cups and so got a video coming up about that little uh, DeWalt impact driver which I'll do a little review on that little tool here coming up soon so anyway back to the uh, you know popping off the uh, crown race there that was used with the Scott and we're putting the new FSA headset on it's going to work with that certainly but yeah, this is kind of my new, uh, I'll do a little feature on my new shop there that we've got new workbenches and a new little area. So, kind of been started a little video from my old work area to the new one, but until the old work area is fully completed and with what we can do there, then I'll do a little video on that. But, uh, so, basically, we got this headset. The Scott had an integrated headset, and the Surly takes the standard headset with the press-in cup there, so um, just kind of disassembling this. Looks like pretty big, heavy-duty bearing there. I'm not sure which. This was one of the pig headsets. Pretty heavy-duty little headset there, so the crown race. Going to press that on, and uh, yeah, it was barely had enough steer tube to make this whole thing work out. I actually had to switch out the stem for a little shorter profile, shorter stack height, I guess you could say. But, um, you know, just putting in the uh, headset cups and such here. But, um, yeah, just, uh, you know, straightforward, pretty process. And, uh, just, uh, Nice little build out. The bike ended up turning out pretty sweet. Um, you know, it seemed like this type of bike for kind of the area where our shop is located. You know, we're kind of in the downtown area, and the, the little area that our shop is located is just growing pretty, pretty crazy uh, right now, and lots of old. Uh, warehouses being converted to housing and the new housing built all around so it uh, seems like there's a lot more people that are working and living in this area so a lot more commuting by bike so we're doing a lot more commuter type bike stuff you know in addition to all the other you know, we do all kinds of high-end stuff as well as just your um, I don't know box store type bike repairs and such, but yeah, anyway, you can see there's barely a little bit of steer tube sticking out there, but yeah, got this little bike together, it's uh, 
you know, like I say, it's a pretty uh, versatile bike. You could, you know, we ended up installing a, a rack and I believe fenders and stuff on it, and uh, kind of cleaning the paint out of the bottom bracket threads here to thread the bottom bracket in. But you can do disc brakes or cantilever brakes, V brakes, whatever. And so, you know, obviously we went with the disc brakes. But, um, yeah, that's the kind of the basic um, basic build up here. So, yeah, just uh, watch along as I finish this uh, little utility universally uh, multifunctional bicycle build up. Yeah. Putting the cups back in, I just use my normal wrench there but for removing stuff you know like I said I'm gonna get do a little video on that little Dewalt tool which uh, little tool I got a couple months back and I've been using it quite a lot and it's been definitely an eye-opener so yeah stay tuned for that